head of the Australian Medical Association is demanding urgent changes to protect health care workers on the COVID front line. Omar Khorshid has also hit out at the Victorian government after it admitted that up to 80% of those infected with COVID-19 during the state's second wave caught it at work. Dr Khorshid joins us now from Perth. Good morning, doctor, and thanks for getting up so early to have a chat to us. Good morning. Uh, now, the government has been saying here in Victoria that a lot of these cases were being contracted out in the community, these healthcare workers, but now we've learned differently. Were you surprised? Uh, no, I was not surprised at all because the, the sheer numbers of healthcare workers getting infected being three, four, five, six times as likely as, a, as any other Victorian suggested to us that it had to be being contracted in the workplace and the head in the sand approach by the Victorian government uh, wasn't helpful and didn't uh, add any urgency to the need to actually change what was going on in the various aged care centres and hospitals to stop healthcare workers getting infected. One of the things, we've been getting loads of messages in from healthcare uh, workers over the last few months, and so many of them have been saying the masks just don't fit properly for women, smaller faced women, it's not one size fits all. There is a trial underway of fit testing masks, at they, as they put it, at one of the hospitals here. I'm surprised it's taken this long to even be doing that. Yeah, look, uh, it's way too late to be doing a trial of whether you need to fit test masks. We know that if you're going to use respirator masks, then they need to fit your face, otherwise they just don't work. That, that's pretty uh, basic stuff. That was uh, known well before this uh, this pandemic, because uh, these masks have been used for, for other, uh, other reasons for, for many years. So really what, what we need to see is some leadership at the national level and uh, an acceptance that something has gone wrong here and that if we have an outbreak like this in another state, we're likely to see exactly the same problem. Uh, that means we need, we need guidelines that are actually appropriate. We need uh, appropriate uh, personal protective equipment available to every single staff member in every single facility. Uh, we need adequate training. We do need fit testing for absolutely uh, every healthcare worker needing to wear a respirator mask. And an acknowledgement that this is actually a workplace safety issue a basic right of any worker and healthcare workers should be treated the same as, as all our other workers in, the, in, in, in other workplaces. So what has to be done to make that happen? Whose decision is it? Where does that come from? Where do those instructions come from? Well, well yet again, it's our complex system of different levels of government and, and getting them to work together. Uh, the aged care sector, unfortunately, as we know, has just seen a complete disaster in Victoria and that's where the majority of healthcare workers are getting infected. Uh, so we need to acknowledge that there's a major issue there. We need national leadership. Uh, in our view, a single uh, individual person who's responsible for uh, getting our aged care sector through this crisis. And similarly for, for hospitals and other healthcare sectors, uh, national agreement, we've got some national guidelines, but they don't go far enough. And to see those strengthened, accepting at a national level, um, which includes all our state governments as well, that this is a basic right, right of any worker, uh, that it's not just uh, the doctors and nurses being difficult, they're actually fearing for their lives, their wellbeing, and that they may bring this virus to their, uh, to their families. Uh, that's not fair. Uh, we can do differently, and it's, we've seen in other countries that if you actually put in place a tight regime, you actually get zero healthcare worker infections, and that needs to be our target going forwards. Final question right now, Omar Khorshid, as uh, people heading into work in hospitals and aged care facilities today in Australia, how risky is it for them? Well, the, Australia's been the best place to be in the world throughout this pandemic so far, apart from Victoria. And of course, we're now seeing small outbreaks in other states. Uh, so for the majority of healthcare workers right now, they're safe. Uh, in Victoria, we've, uh, we've seen the guidelines change. Uh, workers are safer there than before, but we have to acknowledge that something's gone wrong and Victoria needs rapid change now. The other states have got a bit of time to plan properly and make sure that if and when uh, an outbreak does occur in the community in those other states that the healthcare sector is ready to deliver both for uh, Australians and looking after them, but also to look after their own workers. All right. Dr Omar Khorshid, thanks for your time this morning. Uh, good morning. Cheers.